Well, I'm fixing to make a skillet of goulash. Um, sometimes I make it entirely different than I do other times. It just depends on what I've got here in the house. So I've pulled some stuff out of the pantry to go with this. I have got, hopefully that'll show. I've got my hamburger meat cooking. I've got about two pounds in here. I've got the water getting hot over here for my small shell macaronis I'm going to use in it. And I'm going to let this finish cooking, get the macaroni done, and then I'll be back. Okay, I've got the hamburger meat done. I've got the shell macaronis done. We should have leftovers for tomorrow on this, I'm hoping. There should be. Like I said, I change this up from time to time according to what I've got here in the house to use. And people say, that's not goulash. Well, it's not Hungarian goulash, but it's American goulash. That's what my mom and my mama always called it. And they used the elbow macaronis. So, I took two cans of stewed tomatoes. I'm using those because they've already got the green pepper and onion in there. And I run it through the magic bullet. I'm probably gonna have to do a third can of them. But for now, I'm doing this two cans of them and I got a can of red gold tomato sauce look how much more is coming out of that this is a good hearty meal many a times we just had the macaroni and tomatoes when I was growing up because we didn't have the meat for it I'm just gonna get that all mixed up in there. And if I have to open another can of stewed tomatoes, I will, and I might have to. I don't have a written recipe for this because I just mix up what I've got. And I've also got shredded cheddar cheese I shredded. I'm gonna put some of that in here too. This is a big old skillet that I cook in. Like I said, there will probably be leftovers, I would think, but who knows? It depends on how hungry the men folk are. <laughs> now I'm probably gonna open up the third can of the stewed tomatoes and put in here just to give it some more juice because when I put the cheese in, that's going to thicken it. So, I'll be back in a minute. I opened the third can of the stewed tomatoes and ran them through that magic bullet. So I ended up using three cans of them. This is a meal stretcher, y'all. If you don't have very much money and you want to make something to feed everybody, just make you some of this. Believe you me, they'll like it. And this will stretch food. Okay. I'm gonna add some salt and pepper to it, and that's all. And then right before Eric gets home, or when he gets home, I'm gonna add shredded cheddar cheese to it, and this is supper tonight. <laughs> Hope y'all have had a blessed day. Remember, it'll be okay, and I love y'all. My sweet Eric got home, so he's getting ready to try him some goulash. I'm ready, I'm hungry. Okay. That's good. 
a good hearty meal. Yep. Well, he's enjoying it, so I gotta call the rest of them to come get their plates <laughs> so they can be fed. Hope y'all have a great evening.